Hello, hello, my dear ladies and gents. And today I'm starting my um, live for Monday, Random Monday. So I have announcement about my Random Mondays, which is my Random Mondays for now is not going to be so random anymore. I decided to do serious, um, well, serious or let's say uh, serious in one topic, which is about healthy feminine and healthy femininity. Um, in my practice and in my own journey, I found that, you know, there is so much material about like divine femininity and divine feminine and, you know, connect with that power and that sort of thing. And, you know, that now is the time that is changed from the age of Pisces into age of Aquarius. And one thing that we need to shift as, as our mission is to get into healthy feminine state, to heal the healthy feminine, to make it kind of like in a embodied healthy state. So what we need to do is step into empowerment, step into embodiment, step into ourselves. And because I'm working mainly with women, I think I kind of naturally or like by by some design, I'm kind of like drifting into direction about like all my work is about woman empowerment and the empowerment can do with our confidence our confidence in our bodies our confidence in relationships our confidence in relationships with ourselves our confidence in our power to be able to manifest and create what we want to create so basically, happen in any area of our lives. So, so yeah. So basically, why I feel this is very important because, I mean, we can read lots of books. We can read lots of. We can watch lots of videos, and you know, kind of like uh, admire. Uh, this energy of divine, feminine, healthy, feminine, but it doesn't do anything to us practically if we don't really apply into our lives. So it's nice to imagine what it would feel like to be fully kind of in our body and accept ourselves. And it is nice to imagine what it would be like to kind of accept yourself with your wants and needs. I think it's applicable for all humans, but I think uh, for women and for females, especially depending on the cultural background, we are more taught to self-sacrifice, to put others' needs before our needs. And I think when this type of behavior is passed down from our mothers, from our grandmothers to us, then we kind of automatically fall into that behavior. So anyways, so basically I think the most important thing is not so much how much we know about what the <laughs> divine feminine or healthy feminine should look like to us, we should be able to personalize it and implement in our lives. So if we are able to find how this divine feminine, how this healthy feminine helps me in my life to have easier time, to have better time living and dealing with day-to-day -day problems, then I think it's done something. So I will uh, I will start this from the body. I will start uh, this series uh, from talking about our body and us kind of being embodied in in our flesh and kind of like owning it. So this is the topic for today. So okay, so my own experience being in my body. 
and I think experience of lots of women being in their body, most of the part, it didn't start it on a very kind of like a happy note. If you are similar like me, probably your relationship with the body started as a woman when you hit your puberty, when you started to be a teenager. And then that phase when we go from child to womanhood is actually very critical. And we can pick up huge amounts of, let's say, traumas and not just traumas, but also kind of like dented confidence if that didn't go very right for us or it was not easy. For example, let's say our bodies were developing as a woman slower than other girls or faster than other girls. Uh, we may have been picked on or, you know, someone may have joked about us. And that kind of leaves this almost kind of like a scar. Later on, of course, you know, there is no problem with woman being woman and developing as woman <laughs> or, you know, being thin or being curvy. Uh, later on in life, we kind of just fall in one of those categories. But very often, whatever happened at that time when we were in our uh, puberty, in our teenage years, it kind of imprinted us. For example, I'm too fat or I'm too thin. Either I'm too much or I'm not enough or sometimes both, depending on how you look at it. So one, one practical exercise that I wanted to give you to kind of gain awareness about have you unconsciously brought any of those ideas about your body from your teenage years is you write how you feel, take a piece of paper and write right now how you feel about your body, how you feel about your body, how you uh, perceive your body. And once you, once you write that, take another page, and write down how did you perceive your body and how did you see your body when you started your teenage years and you started develop as a woman. And then take those two pieces of paper and actually compare. You will be able to see if there was something that you have picked up as a teenager that you have been carried carrying up until this day and without realizing actually this is not not doesn't matter anymore this this thing is not scary anymore so this is one kind of like a short exercise to help you to understand if there is anything that you picked up at the time when you started to develop as a woman and you never questioned that you carried that up until this day so this is kind of like a first body awareness, first connection awareness, first um, unconscious transfer awareness exercise that I wanted to give you in this series. So once you do that, you will be able actually to see kind of objectively when you read what your teenage self was feeling about your body, has that resolved or there are some things that you are still carrying even though you're no longer a teenager, you're a grown-up woman, you have your life, uh, you don't need to go to school, uh, you don't have your social circle in the same way as you did when you were in the school and that will help you to start to kind of understand and kind of even I think doing this exercise does this kind of like a drawing your attention into your body. So attention, in my opinion, in my opinion, attention and presence is kind of like love. When we pay attention to our body, we give love to our body. When we pay attention into our body and how our body feels, 
we give love to our body. And when we do this exercise, by just because of the fact that we took time and we make those notes and we placed our attention about how we feel about our body and how we felt about our body, we giving love to our body. So that's how I wanted to start this series about healthy feminine. And it's just kind of like a very short exercise and very short life. But I just wanted to kind of introduce you and explain why I decided to do this. And also kind of start experimenting with suggesting doing these kind of like exercises because you can gain lots of awareness, you know, without actually even going in a session or working with the specialist. You can do that just by writing these observations yourself. And that already puts you up in a level of much higher awareness. And that puts you up in a level of much kind of more closer relationship with yourself than you had before. So I'm going to, so the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to kind of go, I'm going to start with the body and, you know, the relationship you had with the body and some exercises that you can do with your body or for your body to gain awareness, to gain connection. Because for women, especially, it is, we are very much intuitive and intuition lies very much in our body. So we are kind of very much body aware or, or body aware via our body. I want to say species, but okay, let's say species, creatures. If any of those offends you, that's not my intention. But by our design, we're very connected. We are very connected with the Mother Earth, or at least we have capacity. We are very connected with our body, or at least we have capacity to do that, because we have capacity to um, grow babies and give birth. So that's why um, I think body awareness is one place to start even if you don't know anything like anything about spiritual things or if you're not interested in that kind of things it's a practical way of connecting with your body and it is a practical way of gaining awareness of your body and your relationship with your body and what you are carrying unconsciously okay so that's all from me and please let me know if there is anything that would help you uh that you want to know about about body awareness connection with yourself connection with your femininity and comment below or just send me a message directly and i will be happy to answer so enjoy your monday enjoy the beginning of your week and i will see you next time bye bye <music>